Gusto mo bang matutong mag-ukulele? Hello everyone, it's me Mads. Welcome to my channel. And I'm here to give you some tips if you want to start to learn how to play the ukulele. Okay, now this is actually my first time to do this vlogging. So forgive me if I'm a little bit awkward. I'm not really used to talking in front of the camera. So please be a little bit forgiving. Maitatawid din natin to. Disclaimer lang, no? I'm not a music teacher. I'm not a professional musician. Um, if you are like me, na biglang naging interested na makapag-play ng musical instrument, self-study, ito yung mga advice na may bibigay ko sa inyo. Tip number one. If you want to play the ukulele, you should have a ukulele. Ta-da! Obviously, yeah. <laughs> So, invest on a good quality ukulele. It doesn't have to be expensive, just good quality. Wala akong brand na ma-recommend sa inyo. If you have the chance to visit the music store, do so. Or if you're planning to buy online, read, read the reviews. It will help a lot, no? You only need one ukulele. Well, some of my friends collect. Pero isa lang talaga kailangan mo para matuto. Later on na, pag magaling ka na, sige, mangulekta ka. Pero kung magmayaman ka, why not? <laughs> now, there are four standard types of ukulele. Soprano, concert, tenor, and baritone. Now, these four all have four strings. Ang difference lang nila, kung makikita nyo sa picture, ay yung kanilang sizes. Ang soprano, concert, at tenor... Pare-pareho sila ng standard tuning, GCEA. Mamaya, i-explain ko sa inyo yan. Ang baritone, iba yung tuning niya, DGBE. Ang difference ng mga yan is, sabi ko nga, bukod sa mas, yung mga sizes nila, yung soprano, 21 inches, concert yata, 23. to 26 yung tenor. And yung baritone, 31 inch or bigger. So, dahil iba-iba yung sizes niya, iba-iba rin yung depth ng soundness niya. So, pag mas maliit yung soprano, mas matinis. Habang lumalaki, pa-warmer ng warmer yung sound niya. Just like the sound of the guitar. Yan. So, mas matinis yung boses. Boses. Yung tunog ng yukarevi. Yan. And since mas malaki yung ano, yung baritone tsaka yung tenor, mas malaki yung fretboard niya. Yung fretboard is ito, yung parang arm. Sa soprano, 12 lang. 12 to 15 yung fretboard. Yung concert, medyo malaki siya. 15 hanggang 20 yung fretboard. Sa tenor, gaya nito, 15 plus. I think this one is 19. Tapos yung sa baritone, 19 plus. So, this is tenor. I personally chose this tenor because when I tried my friend's ukulele, it's a concert ukulele. So, nagsisiksikan yung fingers ko sa fretboard. Ibig sabihin, masyado siyang masikip or maliit sa akin. So, parang feeling ko mas maganda yung adjustment from guitar to ukulele if I chose a, a bigger ukulele. So, again, by a good quality ukulele, Tip number two, make sure your ukulele is in tune. Ayan, dapat nasa tono siya. Gaya ng sinabi ko kanina, yung standard tuning ng soprano, concert, and tenor is GCEA. GCEA. Yeah, pag ang baritone, DGBE. Paano mo siya itotono? Yung sa akin kasi, when I bought this one, oh by the way, if you want to see kung ano yung nasa loob ng package ng ukulele na nabili ko. I made an unboxing video of this maybe last year. I-click ko na lang dun sa flashcard. I mean, sa card above. Okay? So, as I was saying, this ukulele came with a standard tuner. Nakita ko sa inyo yung standard tuner. This one! Ano ba ito? Ngayon siya. Ano ba? It's battery operated. All you have to do is clip it near the strings. 
I-on mo siya. So, dapat, pag kinlik mo yung G, I mean, pag in mo yung G, makikita mo, dapat nasa G din siya. Nasa G ba? Yun. Tapos, magigreen siya pagka namit niya yung tamang tono. Eh, paano pag wala akong standard tuner? Walang problema. Kasi, maraming mga free downloadable apps sa mobile devices nyo. You just click on it, tapos ilapit nyo yung ukulele nyo para marinig doon sa mobile device. Sasabihin niya sa'yo kung nasa to, no? Or, kung wala kang mobile device, nabawa, laptop lang meron ka, Punta kayo YouTube, search mo ng ukulele tuner. Meron dun, papakinig niya sa'yo yung tamang tono, tapos siprahin mo na lang. Meaning, pakinggan mo kung tama ba, magkasing tunog ba yung ukulele mo sa naririnig mo sa YouTube. So, no excuses. <laughs> Tip number two, make sure your ukulele is in tune. Now, we go to tip number three. Now that your ukulele is all set, ang susunod na isi-set mo naman ay yung sarili mo. And ang tip number three is, find your personal learning space. Your personal learning space doesn't have to be big. Basta mayroon lang tamang pwesto for you to play. Meron kang sigurong upuan, sa lugar na hindi masyadong maingay, or hindi ka nakaka-istorbo ng mga kasama mo sa bahay dahil sobrang ingay mo. Yun. So, it also helps kung meron ka ng parang stand. Sambawa, may inaaral ka na sambawa, ilagay mo yung song hits. Yeah, song hits. Jurassic. <laughs> anyway, if you want to print out ang inaaral mo ng mga kanta, meron kang stand. Kasi mahirap kung, kung saan-saan mo lang ilalagay. By the way, yung palang sinabi kong print na yan, ano, most of us prefer kasi digital, no? Pero meron mga cases kasi like, you have to go somewhere else walang internet connection or nalobat ka tapos meron kang spare time to play ukulele. Tapos hindi mo kabisado yung chords. Maganda sana at least man lang may printout ka. Isama mo na sa band. Yeah. So you can study anytime, anywhere. Girl Scout laging handa. <laughs> so ayun, find your personal space. Hindi masyadong maingay at hindi ka rin nakakasagabal sa iba. Maybe a stool o maliit na upuan where you can play peacefully and concentrate. A good thing about having a personal space in the house is that every time you see that spot, you'll be reminded na, ah, kailangan ko na palang mag-practice. Uy, parang okay mag-practice ngayon na ganyan. So, palagi mo siyang nakikita, palagi mo siyang naalala. So, yon, Hindi mo siya nakakalimutan. Pwede mo na simulang yakap-yakapin yung ukulele. <laughs> yeah, yakapin mo siya. How do you handle uh, ukulele? It has to be 45 degree angle, but it changes naman sometimes when you move, no? Pero yung proper daw ay, yung most of the weight, you just press it against yourself and make sure that your hand doesn't carry the weight of the ukulele. So, free siya. So, you can strum, pero ito, maybe it will hold a little bit of weight, but hindi siya talaga magka-carry ng weight. Suggestion ko pa rin, whatever works for you, no? Minsan, tinutungkod ko siya sa thighs ko para may tungtungan din yung kamay ko. Ito, kasi parang pag nagsistram. Tenor kasi siya, mal medyo malaki. Siguro mas madaling yung sinasabi nilang i-press towards yourself kapag soprano. Kasi mas maliit, mas magaan. So, yun. So, that's my tip number three. Now, let's go to tip number four. So, ready ka na, no? Pwede niyayakap-yakap mo na yung ukulele mo. Naamoy-amoy mo siya. So, the next thing you have to do that may sound like very, ano ba, meaningless. But actually, when you experience na ganito, ay kailangan pala dapat ginawa ko na sana. Is to cut your nails. Yan. Gupitin nyo siya. Pudpud. Especially those um, nails and those fingers that will be pressing the fretboard. Kahit hindi na masyado dito sa strumming, pero yung dito sa kamay na magpa-press ng strings, dapat pud-pud siya. Bakit? Kasi nakakaharang siya sa pag-press ng strings. Kapag magpa-press ka ng mga strings, ang dapat na ipang press mo ay ito. 
Yan. Hindi ito. So, kung ito yung pangpapress mo at mahaba yung kuko mo, nakasagabal siya sa pag-press ng strings. Hindi maganda yung tunog ng ukulele mo. Medyo muted. Yan. Pag nakapress na maayos, mas crisp yung sound. So, yun. Cut your nails. So, that's my tip number four. Tip number five, avoid unnecessary distractions. Ano itong mga distractions na to? This one, applicable for girls and some boys having very long hair. I used to have my hair very long, no? So, when I practice, I'm looking at the fretboard. Yung buku ko, it just naturally falls down. Doon sa string. So, when I started to strum, yung buho na buhol doon sa string. <laughs> Masakit. So, yun. Iwasan natin yun. Sometimes, when you're wearing a bracelet or long sleeve, when you started to strum, minsan, pumupunta doon sa, ano, sa strings mo. So, nakakasagabal din siya. Pumapangit yung strumming mo. So, ayos ayusin din natin yan. Or, any accessory, for example, meron kang mahabang necklace, tutugtugtugtug dito. In my case, yung lapel ko, tutugtugtugtug. So, yun. Um, ayusin nyo siya para pag nag-start kayo at nag-zone out na kayo, hindi na kayo madidistract. So, that's my tip number five. So, basically, that's it. So, let's have a recap of my five tips. First, if you want to learn the ukulele, you should have a ukulele. Invest in good quality. Second, make sure your ukulele is in tune. Especially, if your ukulele is new, you have to tune it every so often kasi yung strings niya, hindi pa batak. So, halimbawa, kakatune mo lang kahapon and you start to play again. Um, makapansin mo, iba na naman yung tunog. So, you have to tune it again and again pag bago yung ukulele mo. Tip number three, find your personal space where you can learn. Preferably, a quiet and peaceful place. Mm. Tip number four, cut your nails. And lastly, free yourself from distraction like tie your hair, remove unnecessary accessories that can get in the way when you are playing the ukulele. So that's it. I hope you learned something from this video. Give it a thumbs up. Comment on anything that you want us to discuss maybe in the near future. Subscribe if you want to learn more about my ukulele channel. Hit the bell button to be notified. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you again on my next video.